In this video, I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on a bunch of Amazon FBA product research cheat codes you need to be using to succeed with Amazon FBA product research in 2024, especially as a new seller. If you use them, you'll thrive. You'll find lots of profitable winning products to sell on Amazon. If you don't, you're gonna crash and burn and most likely struggle. Let's jump inside my screen and talk through the product research cheat codes. And keep in mind guys, this is not complicated. You just have to go ahead and learn these different cheat codes and start to implement them. And it's gonna make a big difference in your product research journey. If we take a look at this first product right here, we can see the buy box is currently $37 on Amazon, right? If we take a look over on the Target website, we can see they're going for about $19 right here on the Target website and have a bunch of reviews. Taking a look over here and plugging that in on the profit calculator on SellerAmp, we can see that leaves about $3.59 profit apiece and about an 18% ROI. While the sales rank is good and the profit per unit's good, the ROI is not quite good. I need to see that above 30% typically as a beginner. What you have to understand as an Amazon FBA beginner is you don't find products good, you make them good using all the different cheat codes I'm gonna talk about in this video. So for example, we can see while this is pretty close to being good, if we go over to Card Bear, we can actually get discounted gift cards for Target.com at a big discount. So for example, if we purchase an $100 gift card for 90 bucks, that decreases our cost of goods by about 10%. Let's say in this case, we can get about 9% off with the Target gift card, for example, and we can literally see Car Bear is telling us this is a buy, this is better than normal here. We can go ahead and subtract right here 9% and actually take this out, right? So we can just do math within seller up here. We can see, and now this product gets even better. Another thing I saw was that the buy box on this product was actually an FBM seller right here. So I know if we were to sell this on Amazon FBA, we would be able to price this five to 10% higher. And take a look down here on the Keepa Chrome extension, we can see it's actually been 40 bucks, 39.65 pretty consistently here. So not only can we decrease the cost, but we can actually more realistically price it up where it's been, especially considering it's an FBM star in the buy box and Amazon wants to give the buy box to FBA sellers right here. And this is a profitable product that a lot of beginners would have passed on but taking advantage of the prime bump and more importantly, taking advantage of discounted gift cards from card brand top cash back. Now this product becomes profitable. Next cheat code we want to take a look at, for example, right here is this beauty product. We can see it's got 200 reviews. So we know it sells well on Amazon. It's got a very good sales rank as well. The lower the sales rank, the better. We can see 77K rank right here. We can see the current buy box is 30 bucks. However, taking a look down here on Keepa, we can see it's going at 33 very consistently here, right here in the buy box, right? So we go ahead and plug in 33 right here. And then we can take a look over here on the Thrive website and see they're going for about 24 bucks, which is not quite good. However, we can see there's a 20% just sign up coupon hanging out right here that we can use and go ahead and get another 20% off. For example, so sign up coupons and just email account and text sign up coupons are really helpful too. So if we go ahead and take off 20% right here, we can see that leaves about five bucks profit a piece and a 24% ROI, which the ROI is a little bit low. We would definitely want to take a look at some of the other cheat codes in this video to take a look too. However, beauty products don't really get returned much and we can see this is a very nice stable listing and this has been profitable a good bit of the last year, which makes this a winning product in my opinion, even though the ROI is a little bit low. For shoes, clothing, and electronics that get returned off, you need to be very strict with your ROI criteria. However, for beauty, grocery, vitamins, etc., you can go a little bit lower. And this makes this a nice refund product that wouldn't have been good without that sign up coupon. And all the time you'll see coupons pop up. Or if you scroll to the bottom of the retailer, you'll see that on Dick's Sporting Goods, for example, on the website, you'll see a 10% email sign up code. Don't sleep on that stuff all the time. That extra 10, 15, 20% is the difference between lots of products being profitable and products not being profitable. Another cheat code that's really helpful is the free cash back and Chrome extension. Specifically in this case, the coupon Chrome extensions, Capital One Shopping and Coupon Birds are really helpful. We can see these hoodies are 25 bucks on the Gap website. And then if we take a look at Capital One Shopping here, we can see there's actually this GF bonus. These coupon extensions are completely free here and they give us another 20% off in this case. So if we go ahead and plug this in, we can see right here, these are buy boxing at 51 and it's an FBM star on the buy box, right? So 51 and 25 here, it's pretty close to being good. However, using that Capital One shopping coupon, it gets even better right here. 
and I can go ahead and take a look and see if there's any gap gift cards that are pretty significant on here too. And we can see, look at that current discount, 17% off average discount, 18.5%. Let's keep it very conservative and say there's a big gift card with like 15%, for example. And we'd see now this gets incredibly better. And that's the key guys. You don't find stuff good. You make it good. Taking advantage of sales, taking advantage of the free cash back and coupon extensions, using discounted gift cards, combining them as best you can, a lot more products become profitable. This next one up is a great example as well too. We can see currently an FBM seller in the buy box at $20. So we know FBA, we'd go at least like, you know, five, 10% hours, like 225 for example. However, over on the Carter's website here, we can see they're going for about 14 bucks. Now that's pretty discounted here, but they're still not quite good. So for example, at 14, that's definitely not good. However, we can see there's a holiday sale going on, looks like for like Halloween, for example, here, that gives another 20% off, right? So if we go, for example, to the homepage right here, we can go ahead and see, boom, yeah, extra 20% right there. It's actually like a looking like winter sale, for example, here. But if we can see 20% here, so now 14, take out 20%, for example, we're getting close, right? And then what we can also do is go over to Card Bearer and we can see current discount 20% for gift cards right here, which is incredibly significant, right? So if we take off 20%, for example, right here, right? Boom, even better. Now this listing's nice and good, but you had to know about the prime bump. You had to know about the holiday sale. You had to know that there's big discounted gift cards there. And these cheat codes make all the difference with Amazon All-In Arbitrage Product Research, because I promise you, the majority of your competition is not using these different discount mechanisms and these different cheat codes that make onions profitable. And if you do, you will thrive with Amazon Product Research. This one's a little bit more of a low key one, which is known as using a tax exempt permit or a reseller certificate. There's a different name for it in each state specifically. Most people think that reseller certificates are only good to avoid sales tax for wholesale. However, they're very useful for retail arbitrage. And in many cases these days, actually online arbitrage as well. So for example, take a look over here, we can see these socks are going for about 997 on Walmart here. So we plug in 997 right here, we can see that's already pretty close to being good. However, if we Google it, does Walmart take tax exempt? We can see Walmart has a nice tax exempt program. So now I have 5% factored on my seller amp back end. We can go ahead and take off this 5%, for example, here to offset that sales tax that I currently have in my settings. You want to make sure you're not counting it twice. And when you're using a tax exempt certificate, that you're not counting it at all. Now we can go ahead and take that off and we can go ahead and stack on a 5% discounted gift card too, for example right here, which makes this listing even better and takes it from a close to being good to a totally be good. Shout out tax exempt. You can get that on state's website. Just make sure you're following all the rules. You'd be shocked how many different websites take it. We can see you can literally just Google it. Does Home Depot take tax exempt? We can see it nicely in there. Nice and easy. Don't sleep on a tax exempt for resource certificate, guys. You'd also be shocked how many websites have hidden coupons that literally just show up on Google, for example. So like I get asked all the time, like what are the shop WSS coupons? And literally you can just Google it and it's the first result here. For example, and we'd see a bunch of different coupons right here. Typically it won't be this easy, but all the time you'll find it just on Google, right? We can see literally there's an email and text sign of coupon that is not as good as these hidden ones that actually just show in the first result on uh, on Google right there. So those are a really helpful tool for finding more stuff as well, guys. On top of seeing if retailer takes tax exempt or if they have different coupons, you always want to check out through an account so you can leverage different rewards programs that exist as well. Rack Room Shoes is a really good rewards program. Kohl's with Kohl's Cash is a really good rewards program. And you can get in an awesome cycle looping these different discount codes and getting great discounts and further percents off for future orders. So all you have to do to figure that out is just look up like, does Dick's Sporting Goods have a rewards program? And always check out through an account. Oftentimes at the checkout, they'll show you as well. But on top of all those different methods here, rewards programs are a great way to save cash for future orders and get in a great rhythm looping different profitable products. All the time, you'll find listings that are like close to good. And what it is, is that there are sellers on those listings that have big rewards balances built up from buying other profitable products and they're just looping those discounts. So we've gone through a bunch of cheat codes and we've also seen a couple examples where you can use like a coupon code and an items on sale and there's a discounted gift card and there might even be a rewards program right there. And this is not complicated. It just might seem complicated as you get comfortable with it. You really only need like five to 10 websites that you do really, really well. On. And a lot of websites will have actually multiple of these different options you can go ahead and take a look at. So for example, Rack Room Shoes here, they have 15 off 99, for example, that actually stacks with the BOGO 50%. So what you wanna do in this case is you wanna get cards just barely above 100 
after the BOGO to take advantage of that second coupon. And they actually have a banger rewards program as well. So the way I want you guys doing product research or the way that has done best for me is every time you come across a new retail, you want to figure out, do they have an evergreen coupon? Do they show any coupons on the cash back and Chrome extensions? Are there any email account or tech sign up coupons I can take a look at? Is there a holiday coming up? And there's probably going to be holiday sales, you know, for Halloween, early Black Friday, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Christmas deals. Do they take discounted gift cards? Are there bulk discounts? Is there a wholesale program? You can literally just Google that and you'll find that from any brands. Is there subscribe and save? Do they take tax empty here? And overall, that's just going to lead to you finding a lot more profit proxy here, having a much better experience with all in arbitrage product research. Hope this video is helpful, guys. If you want personalized one-on-one -on -one help scaling up your Amazon business in 2024, especially for the Q4 rush, now's the perfect time to apply for my coaching program. We'll pop a whole bunch of results up on the screen here. You can take a look at that at the link in the description right there. Go ahead and put in your information and apply, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and check out this video for more free Amazon seller content.